Don't be surprised if fewer and fewer and fewer people are willing to work with you. Don't be surprised if fewer and fewer and fewer people are willing to collaborate with you. Don't be surprised if fewer and fewer opportunities come up for you to go on other shows. Don't be surprised. You pissed off the Jewish community and black men. And you have a habit of kicking, kicking black women out of your studio. That particular opening clip is from Beautiful Lies YouTube channel. Good buddy of mine, a great YouTuber burgeoning in the black YouTube community. Fun guy, awesome guys, never had any issues. But I want to play this clip in full and what she's talking about that just pearly things is destroying her channel. Let's play that clip. I'm not stupid. Black men are not stupid. Men in general are not stupid. You've got the nerve to get up here and make fun of a young man that fought and beat cancer, trying to be smug and sarcastic in a, just an observation, dry standalone video or a portion thereof with you and blessing. And it failed. She's uh, putting out this content for two reasons, I would imagine. And I want you all to go over and watch MTR's response to this. It is a masterclass in class in taking the high road. He came out with two theories as to why she's doing it. Number one, views are declining and possibly she's trying to stir up some controversy and everything. Or number two, I forget what the second one was. Was it just that she's a shitty person? That's what I want to say. Number two, she just was upset with the content creators that said stuff about her. I think that was it. I think it's a combination of both. What's interesting to me is that it really does just appear to be about the money for Pearl, which is crazy to me because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest. I, I, I would not be a good content creator if I was, didn't tell you the truth. So she hit a million subscribers in January, February, March, April, May, four months ago. Four months ago, I was rooting for Pearl. I actually think I dropped a, I'm almost certain I dropped a comment. Congratulations on hitting a million subscribers on her community post or in a video or something like that. Dude, this, this content creation thing is not easy. And to hit a million subscribers is a big deal. But just four months later, you've just completely destroyed all of your credibility. You came on, we see your apology was fake now more than anything else. Shout out to Cro Coach Greg Adams, CGA. You've devolved to the point that you're making fun of other content creators that have fought and won cancer battles. And despite that, even with one nut, you would not dare say it to their face. You know that the consequences for that could be very real. So to all of you brothers that are out here in alignment, we're done with her. We're done talking to you. It's over. Our YouTube power as a collective is vastly greater than yours. Who are your allies of any suitable note? Who are your allies that are this color? of any suitable, that are not this color of any suitable note. Where are your non-black allies? Not trying to make it a racial thing. Just a simple question. I want you to get offended. We are the draw. We made you. And now we're willing to let you sit unattended to be exploited by the elements and to erode and eventually crumble away. Thankfully, due to the sacrifices of veterans and um, who black men are disproportionately represented in, in the military and thanks to the civil servants like police and firefighters, which once again, law enforcement, black men are disproportionately represented in these spaces, you have the right to say what you want to say. Say it. Cool. But the keyboard killers of facade, and there are real consequences for your actions in this world. There are only two things you can control your actions and your attitude. And I would say that you have failed at controlling both of those. 
You don't get to just say that and we want to sit, sit back and act like nothing. You're lucky that I was willing to put you on notice. Don't be surprised if fewer and fewer and fewer people are willing to work with you. Don't be surprised if fewer and fewer and fewer people are willing to collaborate with you. Don't be surprised if fewer and fewer opportunities come up for you to go on other shows. Don't be surprised. You pissed off the Jewish community and black men. And you have a habit of kicking, kicking black women out of your studio. Now, a lot of you guys may not think that this makes any sense, especially at the at the end where he's saying, don't be surprised that fewer and fewer people want to work with you. But hmm, isn't that interesting? Because now isn't she trying to be friends with Fresh and Fit? She's now trying to change her mind about Fresh and Fit after throwing them under the bus. Now, look. She's trying to get back in cool with Fresh and Fit. Here's the clip that proves that. And you know, I actually, I actually changed my mind on the whole ABBA and Preach thing. I was team ABBA and Preach. I was in the beginning of um, the Fresh and Fit drama. Bro, but what terrible. I, but no, I was. But I didn't realize how they took Myron out of context. Bro. And they painted him as the, so, like, they, they basically me too Myron by painting him as, like, some Harvey Weinstein type shit by not putting those texts in context. No, I, it was actually no, no, no. disgusting. I'll tell you what happened. A comedian was shitted on comedically and they couldn't take it. They couldn't take it. They couldn't take man talking about his fat wife. They couldn't take it. Sorry. Um, but they started it. That's the oh, other thing. Oh, can I say overweight? What? I need to find a cute way of saying fat. Whales? Uh, no, that's not cute. Man. Okay. Right. That's if you want to disrespect them. I just want to be like fluffy about it. What's nice and fat? Chunky. That's a little over chunky. <laughs> Giving face <laughs> out. They I, match her again. One giving negative energy in life is a colossal waste of time. Learn eventually. I don't want the smoke. I'm not coming for no one that's not in no YouTube space. That's your boo. That's you. I am not coming for you. Whoever you know, what I'm saying people love who they love, bro. I'm not on. I'm not on that. That's the only thing. I wish Myra never went down that road. But. I'm not, I'm not ad hominems. I'll, I'll come. I'll come for your belly buttons. And honestly, yeah, yeah. I gotta give Fresh and Fit credit. You know, I think they offer. You know, and this is me even conceding. Like they offer more value than anyone in the space. Mm -hmm. Who's had more men's improvement guys on? I can't teach men game. I don't know how to pick up women. I've never done it. Do you know what I mean? And it's like so they're out here giving solutions and making the world a better place and what like what do these reaction channels stand for that have been shitting on them the past year and a half like i guarantee fresh and fit have saved literal lives bro fresh and fit blew abba and preach fresh and fit blew kevin samuel fresh and fit blew andrew tate fresh and fit blew jay waller fresh and fit i'll Men after men after men after men. Tommy so Sotomayor's career revived on Fresh and Fit. I'm telling you, the people that come inside of Fresh and Fit and have these amount of people that's watching them live, the real guys that sit down every day and watch this stuff mm -hmm. is clocking on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You take whatever you want to take from there. They talk about finances, health, fitness, whatever your Fed 11, whatever you want to get from that. Them, those two guys, you get it from over there. You you, you see guys, I, I wanna talk about this because once you start to be known as, uh, or people feel that you might be a gracist, or you're phony, or you're not who you say you are, people don't take you serious. If somebody wants to work with you, and let me tell you how, how YouTube typically works, right? For those who don't know. If, if, if we're buddies on YouTube, and you offend my buddy, I'm not gonna work with you, okay? And if I see you as a YouTuber coming after other people when you're clearly in the wrong, the, the thing I'm gonna think about is, what if this person does the same thing to me? Because that person will do the same thing to you. That's not, it's not a matter of when or if, it is that you will. You're gonna do the same thing to me. I know that you're gonna do the same thing to me. So why am I gonna waste my time dealing with you? I know it. I know you're gonna do the same thing. And that's what's going on with, with Just Pearly Things. This is why 
she's trying to get these friends. And he talked about who are your friends of any consequence. Um, I know that she she's doing an interview with uh, Tommy Sotomayor. Of course, you know I'm gonna uh, cover that. He's no longer really on YouTube. You know, she has some some of the some of the brothers over in the black manosphere. So the a lot of YouTubers that she would interact with, people are gonna be like, oh no, nah, I can't I can't go on there. You know, because now it's like, damn, if I go on there after what she said, like people are gonna come after me. That's how it works. And a lot of people cut their water off by how they handle other YouTubers. Like we got to understand as much as we are on, on, on YouTube, giving our opinions. And a lot of us are very passionate about what we do. This is a business. YouTube is a business. Okay. I don't want to get involved with somebody who submits copyright strikes. When I come to your studio and we do things and you know, you try to take down my channel. If you have that history, no, I'm not going to waste my time doing that. No, I'd rather just stay by myself because you, you're not a cool person to work with. Because if anything happens, we already know how you're going to act. That's how a lot of YouTubers on the platform fell off. They can't work with people. Can't work with people. You're lying. You're dusty. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of Serbia Drunk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.